Now we am, I'm showing you a urinary bladder <coughs> of a 45 years old male. He had retention of urine and catheterization was attempted yesterday night and see what has occurred. This is all bleed. This layered out if you see this layered out debby is all bleed. This one and this area, this rounded area, hypoquic with marginal calcification is measuring approximately 30 by 30 mm with internal calcification as well. Here you see there are a lot of internal calcifications but the all of the outer surface is studied with the tiny calcifications. This is 30 into 30 mm hypochoic solid area, no posterior wall enhancement is seen uh, and is uh, suggestive of uh, a clot under the given uh, history and uh, <coughs> let us see the status of the prostate. Now you see this is the prostate and prostate is uh, seen absolutely separate. This is the outer surface of the uh, prostate in transfer section. It does not relate to the prostate. This is the longitudinal section I'm showing with that of the prostate. This is the prostatic outline and here is the urinary bladder and uh, this area marginal ves vessels are seen along with the internal few internal vessels now going into the differential it is either a clot or I will keep, I will keep uh, the differential of uh, mass or transitional cell carcinoma also in my mind. Now here you see it appears to be separate uh, from the wall of the urinary bladder. Here it is. It appears to be uh, separate from the wall. See the marginal calcifications, internal calcifications, hypochoic and no posterior wall enhancement surrounded by layered out rim of echoes. And uh, we are seeing the urinary bladder. This is the layered out, now you see layered out debris post attempt of catheterization. Both kidneys are normal. This is the right kidney. This is the left kidney. And with the change of posture, this uh, solid area, hypochoic solid area, does not show any change in its location. It remains there. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.